everyone. Welcome back. I'm Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen, and today we're making Asian Brussels sprouts, and they're just fabulous. I have this Brussels sprout thing lately. I don't know what it is, but I love them, and Brussels are healthy. First thing I want to talk about is you need to cut your Brussels sprouts, cut the ends off, and then you need to soak them in salt water, and it gets rid of any little bugs or dirt or anything that's in between all these little layers of goodness. And then you want to rinse them off so you get the excess salt off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to air fry them and we're going to bake them to show you the difference. The air fryer is 360 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes and the oven is 400 degrees, 20 to 30 minutes. Now that may vary. These are pretty big. So sometimes you get small Brussels sprouts, sometimes they're medium. I wanted them in half though because the sauce soaks inside. So I could have cut them smaller, but I didn't. So you kind of got to gauge your time based on how big your Brussels sprouts are. The sauce that we're going to make, the Asian sauce, um, what we have is one tablespoon of cornstarch or you can use arrowroot powder. And what you want to do is you want to put um, two tablespoons of water in there and you kind of want to make a paste out of it. And you do this so your sauce doesn't get clumpy, okay? Because you don't want any clumps. And you want to give it a couple seconds just to kind of disappear in there until you don't see any of the um, clumps. You don't. All gone. Okay? So what we're going to do is we have a saucepan. And you're going to cook it low. You don't want to cook it too fast. And what we're going to do is we're going to put three tablespoons of soy sauce in here. And we have, all right, geez, a little handy dandy thing just to get this. Um, we have two teaspoons of maple syrup. A teaspoon of fresh ginger, and I grated it. And put that right in there. And we have three cloves of garlic that I minced. And one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar. And we're going to stir that around. And it's not a lot of sauce. You don't need a lot of sauce. And then we have three tablespoons of hoisin sauce. And then that lovely little cornstarch water thing that's going to make it so it thickens up and makes a sauce. And while that is heating on low and thickening, we're going to take these Brussels sprouts and you want to make a single layer. You don't want them all you know, bound together. And it doesn't matter that you have these leaves. That kind of is fun because they get all crunchy. And so it's kind of a nice little difference in texture, which is great. And we're going to put these Brussels sprouts. And I'm, I'm making two different batches. One I'm going to put in the oven and one I'm going to put in the air fryer. These are the air fryer ones. And then the rest of them I'm going to put, this is a silicone baking mat. Kind of like your silicone baking mat. You can also use parchment paper. And then what's left here is four green onions, a quarter cup of chopped cashews, and these Fresno chili peppers. I took the seeds and the veins out. These are much um, lighter in flavor and spiciness compared to a jalapeno. So I'm going to pop these into the preheated 400 degree oven these are going into a 360 degree um, air fryer. Make sure you preheat your air fryer and your oven before you put them in. And then we're gonna stir this up and by the time this thickens, our Brussels sprouts will be ready to be tossed and the toppings added. So we'll be right back. Okay, these are the air fryer ones. They look very similar to the oven version. I love these little crispy things. They're like potato chips. I love Brussels sprouts lately. I don't know what my thing is with Brussels sprouts, but anyway, you're going to put them into a bowl and they're hot. 
And the sauce is also hot, so you want to make sure you use tongs. We're just going to mix all of these together. I want to get these extra little crunchers off of here. Cheese in there too. And the sauce is not spicy. It's just very savory and sweet simultaneously. And what we're going to do, as you can see that the sauce has thickened and there's not much. You don't need a lot. This is one pound of Brussels sprouts. That's all you need. The less, the better, in my opinion, of sauce. Because the vegetables, if you put too much sauce on, they lose their natural flavor. And that's not a good idea either. Okay. So, we're going to toss them in the sauce. And it just lightly coats them. So, it's the perfect amount. Want to get it all lightly coated. Then you can eat these um, as a side dish, a main dish. You can put them on um, rice or noodles. I mean, honestly, they taste yummy on everything. And what you do now is you take the green onions and you put them all over the top. I don't have too many green onions. And we're going to put some, well, the two, two red Fresno peppers that I cut into um, little ringlets. And then we sprinkle with the salted cashews. Now, if you have a nut allergy, skip the cashews. That's fine, too. You skip anything you don't like always. And here you have it. Asian style or so smart. Yum. I hope you enjoy the recipe today and we'll see you next time. Bye.